hey Halo Union, um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do simulated ceiling fans. Now I have a, I have a hunch that uh, simulated ceiling fans are going to be the next lens flares. So uh, after this tutorial comes out, don't be too surprised if you see, uh, see it popping up in uh, some J.J. Abrams work if you know what I'm saying. Why do a simulated ceiling fan? First off, this high angle shot, it's somewhat flat because everything's beneath, kind of on one layer. Also, all this space over here is very empty. So we just want to fill it in to make a better, more visually appealing shot. So let's get started. It's got a layer, new, solid. We're going to make it a bright yellow color because uh, it's easier to see. Make comp size, click OK. We're going to go to the ellipse tool. If you hold shift and drag, you get a perfect circle. Make it a little smaller. Alright. Um, next, we're just going to draw kind of the little connecty thing, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to switch to the rounded rectangle tool and we are going to draw the actual thing but it's a little too wide we'll go with around there and if you hold option you can drag the whole mask over Okay. Um There we go. Next we want to take the pan behind tool and you can just move the center to the center. And that'll make it a lot easier for us. Alright, so we got blade number one. Just gonna take the yellow layer, press command D and then change the rotation and I think uh, most ceiling fans tend to have five blades the one in my room has four but I think that's because it's cheap and uh, we want a nice high quality ceiling fan you know the rich kind so we're gonna make five Um, okay, I think that's pretty good. So as you can see, it's a very high detail ceiling fan. You just can't, uh, can't get these anywhere. Next we're gonna, uh, highlight all of the layers. Go to Layer, Pre-Compose, click OK, just so it's all one thing. And then we can make it a 3D layer by clicking this button right here. And we will try to get it to the right perspective. And we can, okay, uh, raise it up quite a bit. takes a lot of kind of adjusting to get it exactly where you want it. I am going to scale it up quite a bit. And uh, move it over. Uh, Maybe right there. Okay. Now we want to make it kind of fit the uh, color scheme. So, effects, and we will go to generate 
fill, make it a kind of dark color, it'll blend better. Then we are going to rotate it so that it blends. The reason you have a lot of leeway is because ceiling fans move so fast, the motion blur is going to do most of the work for you. Um, so at the beginning we'll set a keyframe. Actually, it should be the Z. Yes, Z. Set a keyframe for the Z rotation. Move to the end. After a lot of testing, I I think I discovered 25 rotations worked well. So we'll do it. We'll do that. And uh, as you can see, it moves. Next, we want to turn on the motion blur. So we have motion blur on the composition. Need to turn it off for the layer, and that's pretty good. Um, then we want to blur the layer out more, which this is not going to be like you have your two blurs: the motion blur, and then you have the out of focus uh, depth of field blur, which both give you some leeway to use a two or a yeah two dimensional flat layer for it. Um, set it to maybe 18. It's pretty good. Um, cool. Looking good so far. <clears throat> the other thing you might notice is the shot is handheld. It does have a lot of movement. So if you want it to to really sell the effect you're gonna have to do some tracking. So let's hide the ceiling fan. We're going to track the motion. First, we'll want to create a new null object, which is pretty much nothing. It's just a blank uh, layer that can take properties like position and rotation. So if we go to the actual clip and uh, click track motion, I happen to know from doing this before that the best part to track would be um, this bench over to the side because the other positions our actor tends to walk in front of so this one stays uh, clean but you want to go to the beginning remove it gonna the target is already set to null so that's good and uh, we'll just click analyze play forward alright so next we just want to go to apply click OK and now you'll notice all these little keyframes for every frame and if you look at the null object the little red square it tracks with the shot. All we need to do now is to take our fan layer and track it to the null and turn it on, turn the null off. Then you'll notice the ceiling fan moves with the shot. Hope you enjoyed this. Please check out the medallion we spent a lot of time on it and we'll have some more tutorials coming soon please subscribe and thank you